Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy and blessings of Allah. Welcome to the path to Jannah, the channel that shows you the way to heaven in Islam. But before we begin, please make sure to hit the like button, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Now let's get started. In this video, we will talk about the patience of Ali. Ali was a young boy who lived in a small village with his grandparents. He loved to play soccer and ride his bike. He was always energetic and adventurous, and he followed the teachings of Islam. One day, Ali was riding his bike with his friends when he saw a big hill. He wanted to go down the hill and feel the wind in his face. He thought that it would be fun and exciting. He asked his friends to join him, but they were afraid. They said that the hill was too steep and dangerous, and that they could get hurt. They advised Ali not to go down the hill either. Ali didn't listen to his friends and decided to go down the hill anyway. He thought that he was brave and skilled and that nothing bad would happen. He ignored his friends' warnings and rode his bike down the hill. However, he soon realized that he had made a mistake. The hill was indeed too steep and dangerous, and he couldn't control his bike. He lost his balance and fell off his bike. He rolled down the hill and hit a rock. He felt a sharp pain in his leg and started to cry. He looked at his leg and saw that it was bleeding and broken. He was scared and alone. He called for help, but no one heard him. His friends had gone back to the village and didn't know where he was. He wished that he had listened to them and not gone down the hill. He remembered that Islam taught him to be patient and trust in Allah. He knew that Allah was testing him and that he had to be strong. He also knew that Allah would help him and reward him for his patience. He decided to calm down and pray to Allah. He asked Allah for forgiveness and mercy. He also asked Allah for healing and help. He recited some verses from the Quran and some supplications from the Sunnah. He said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raji'un. Indeed we belong to Allah, and indeed to Him we will return. La hawla wa la quwata illa bila. There is no power or strength except with Allah. Allahumma ini a'udu bika min alhami wa alhazani wa al-adzi wa al-kasali wa al-bukli wa al-jubni wa dalai al-daini wa galabati al-rajal. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from anxiety and sorrow, weakness and laziness, miserliness and cowardice, the burden of debts and from being overpowered by men. Allahumma ini asaluka al-afiya. O Allah, I ask you for well-being. Allahumma ajirni fi musibati wa aklif li kairan minha. O Allah, reward me for my affliction and give me something better than it. He repeated these words over and over again until he felt a peace in his heart. He had patience and faith in Allah. Soon, he heard some voices nearby. They were his friends who had come back to look for him. They had heard his cries and followed them. They found him lying on the ground with his broken leg. They were shocked and sorry for him. They apologized for leaving him alone and said that they should have stayed with him. They called an ambulance and waited with him until it arrived. They comforted him and assured him that everything would be okay. The ambulance came and took Ali to the hospital. The doctors treated his wound and put a cast on his leg. They said that he would recover soon, but he had to rest for a few weeks. Ali thanked the doctors and his friends for their help. He also thanked Allah for saving him and answering his prayers. He realized that he had learned a valuable lesson, to be patient in times of hardship and to listen to good advice. He followed the example of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who said, How wonderful is the affair of the believer, for his affairs are all good, and this applies to no one but the believer. If something good happens to him, he is thankful for it, and that is good for him. If something bad happens to him, he bears it with patience, and that is good for him narrated by Muslim. He smiled and said, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. We have reached the end of this video. We hope you learned something beneficial and enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos. And remember, the ultimate goal of our life is to please Allah and enter Jannah. So let's strive hard to follow His commands and avoid His prohibitions. May Allah make us among the people of paradise. Amin. Until next time, 
Don't forget to send peace and blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.